in one of the earlier videos, I have mentioned that TypeScript has the capability to implement strong type checking. If we look into app.component.ts, the title property is defined without any data type. The title property can be defined as a string data type. Let me now include the syntax to make title property with string data type. I am placing the cursor after title, then typing colon followed by string in lower case. The colon helps to define the data type. String is one of the predefined set of built-in data type available in TypeScript. You can check the TypeScript documentation to know more about other data types. Now, if I change the data type from string to number, we can see that it is resulting in a compilation error. If I hover over the title, we can see the compilation error message saying that string is not assignable to number. We can see how strong type checking is enforced by TypeScript compiler. Now I am reverting it back to string and saving the file. If I save and check it in the browser, we can see that the heading display works without any issue. A yeah, TypeScript file supports both JavaScript and TypeScript. It is the responsibility of the developer to include a data type for all the variables and properties of your class. This video is not related to interpolation, but we are trying to follow the best practice when defining a property for interpolation. Try including the data type in your app.component.ts, check if it works as expected, then move on to the next video. In the next video, we will see how to refer data from objects for interpolation.